Welcome to Comping in Cubase. My name is Tony Hitchcock and I'm a student in Berkeley's Introduction to Music Production. This presentation will demonstrate how to perform comping using Cubase. Firstly, we need to discuss what comping is. Comping is the process of compiling a single track of audio from a number of different takes of a performance in order to create a perfect take from a number of imperfect ones. Now each door has different tools that you can use to achieve this and I'm going to be looking at Cubase 7.5. Cubase 7.5 has a very powerful set of comping tools and they make this task fairly simple certainly compared to other systems that I've used. The most time consuming task is that of listening to all of your takes and deciding which parts to use in your final track. So let's have a look and see how this is actually done in Cubase. This is the project window in Cubase 7.5. Now I've recorded six takes of a guitar introduction for a song I'm currently working on. In Cubase, multiple takes can be done automatically by using cycle recording. Cycle recording is achieved by activating the cycle button and also ensuring that the keep history option is selected. Now to see these takes we activate the show lanes button on the track and we can see that that displays the six takes each in their own lane. We can now go to the scissor tool so that we can divide up this event and I've decided to do this at bar 5, bar 7, bar 9 and also bar 10 beat 4 because there's an error at the end of uh, one of the takes I, I want to use. We now can go to our comping tool that will allow us to select which sections of each take that we want to use. And as you can see once you have your comping tool, I'll get that out of the way, you can now select different sections and use whichever one you want. Of course you need to listen to them carefully but to save time I've already made those decisions and as you can see we've got take 2, take 5, take 6 then take 3 and finally take 5 and they are the 5 that I've chosen and this is what they sound like. You may have heard some pops and clicks as they run over, as the, the cursor runs between these gaps. So to fix that, we're going to crossfade and we go and we simply select the takes and then we use the tool audio and go down to crossfade and it automatically puts a crossfade in between each of the sections. What then needs to happen is that we now need to put the whole thing together. We go to Audio, Advanced and Delete Overlaps. And that removes all of the unwanted takes and just leaves us with the takes that we need. The next step is to merge this into a single file and that's done by Bounce Selection. Replacing the events and you can see now we have a single lane and that's now a new file on our hard drive. Let's have a listen. That is comping in Cubase 7.5. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this presentation useful and if not at least a little bit interesting. And if you are one of the chosen ones who is reviewing my work, a very heartfelt thank you to you.